today's vault, my fellow gamers. So today, uh, I'm going to go over something really quick. It's kind of like making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But it's going to be for the Wolverine here. Now, on these bases, I don't really like that lip and then this big chunk of metal. And what I could do is, you know, snip off this big chunk of metal and file the feet flat, set it down if I wanted to. But I still don't like this lip. Uh, so I like to fill that in and make it to where this guy's on level footing, kind of might mound up like a little bit of a hill here. But, you know, that's okay. So what I'm going to do, put my hand on the other side of this camera thing, and get my Marauder Warlord out of here. So I have a bit of a sculpting tool, and I have some of the material still on it here uh, from opening the, the jar. But this stuff here, foam putty from Woodland Scenics, this stuff is amazing. And it can be reconstituted with water. So, you see, sometimes it's flaky, but most of the time it, it, uh, it sticks together. This flaky stuff is just come off from what I've already dealt with. Just give myself a little bit of that. Hard to do through. Camp, uh, you son of a gun. Let me get this thing out of here. Just get a bit more. And you're gonna push it and move it off to the side and have it stick to the side there. Actually, you know, yesterday I posted a video of this guy, you know, my thoughts about him being a recast, which I still stand by, because in the center of this metal put there, he's got all these gouges in there. I don't know if that was done on purpose, maybe to look like craters from a battlefield, I'm not sure. But I also think it could be, it could be recasting. I don't know, he, he didn't turn out so bad. Not a bad recasting. If indeed that is what he is. Um, I think he is because these Wolverines in Blister, you know, the old time Blister, go for quite a bit. Now it's probably collector prices. You know, I'm, I'm sure with how old Battletech is that there are people that go nuts for these things in Blister back. <laughs> The original ones, not the Iron Wind medals. I'll just finish it up. I got a whole big mess here. And it's okay if you make a bit of a mess. The stuff sticks together and you can pick up the, the sticky. But you see, I was, I was able to do it with still all that mess on my spatula. I drop some pieces, I just touch the spatula to them, and they stick. This stuff will dry really quickly, and then you can sand it, file it, uh, cut it, shape it, however you want. It's amazing. And in this still wet um, deal as it is, you can sculpt it however you want, really. Now, it's not going to give you the cleanest texture. It will be kind of a grainy, granulated texture. So, uh, if you want to, you know, get a good shape <clears throat> with a smooth texture, what I would honestly suggest is go ahead and do the putty, and then you can go over it with the liquid green stuff and just give a nice shellac over that, and it will give it a nice smooth surface. But that is how I deal with the um, the bases and Battletech miniatures. I let that thing dry, and then I'll go over the top edge here, and I'll get rid of this scruffy stuff. I'll probably do it with my finger now. Never really bothered. And yeah, just to clean it up a little bit. But yeah, that's how I fill in that base. Put some flock on top, and it looks excellent. All right. You guys have a wonderful day. Carry your legs on.